All right, it's uh, kind of overcast and still, so I'm going to try to do a video here. Um, something's been eaten off a few of my, like that's a cauliflower and this other one's a broccoli. Something's been nibbling on them pretty good. I'm not sure what. I don't know if it's deer coming up at night. They're kind of selective. They just pick on certain ones. So I put these rings around them just last night just to see if that would kind of keep things off them. But I might have to put some more jugs on them. The jugs are really better protection. Um, planted some more sweet corn back here. And the chickens like to dig. So they've probably dug some of it up, but I think most of it is still in the ground there. Might have to build, might have to put some fences up this winter and keep the chickens out of here. I'm just not sure. Hate to have to do that because it's a pain, but they do cause some damage. I've had some Japanese beetles on the beans lately. So I was out here knocking some of them off. You get a you get a bucket with some uh, soapy water and just bump them off the leaves into it and that kills them. And uh, it's one way to get rid of some of them. Um, these black-eyed peas are looking really good, doing well. And same thing with these beans next to them. Um, that one rain the other day wasn't much, but it did help things quite a bit. And then the potatoes over here are starting to die down. I've dug some of them, but there's going to be more coming along pretty soon. I'm a little out of breath, just chased a dog down the road. Um, this is the pot that looks quite a bit different from last time, I think. Um, I knocked all this corn down with the tiller and then planted a bunch of stuff over here. Um, peas and various late things, um, carrots, turnips, beets, all that kind of stuff. Uh, some beans, and then um, over in this area here, got some green onions, and uh, I think it was more carrots. I also put some zucchini out here because, in a few spots, because uh, it turned out the one that I thought was a zucchini wasn't. It was a scallop squash, so I don't have any zucchini, which isn't a great tragedy or anything, but wouldn't mind having one. Um, water and things as you can see because it was pretty dry over here and there's no rain in the forecast for a few days um, the Swiss chard looks great though I need to be eating more of it because it'll eventually just kind of wilt up and get bug bites and not be so good so need to be using more of it um, these beans over here are just these are dry beans so I'm just waiting for them to get get to the point of picking. There are some that are ready here. And those are red kidney and then there's pinto beans there too. And then I've still got this one kind of empty area that I haven't done anything with that I'm probably... Oh, I did do one thing. I transplanted these pepper plants over here. Um, I guess they were chili peppers. That's what they are. Um, picked up six of those late and got them transplanted out here so see how they do but uh, otherwise I think I think I'm gonna be getting some more cabbage and cauliflower plants that will that'll go in that area all right and this south plot is getting uh, getting a little weedy um, I did also knock down this old row of onions the other day and planted some let's see pumpkins and muskmelon in this where they were so they aren't up yet, they're just in hills here. Um, some of these vining plants are vining out pretty good. I think there's, I think I saw, but I saw a watermelon. Yeah, there's one. A little watermelon getting started there. And these squash plants have got some decent sized fruit getting started on them. Yeah, there's one. Butternut squash kind of interesting this um this plot this well not that plant that's a cucumber but that squash right there and this squash right here are the same thing all these down through here are the same thing they're the same variety butternut squash 
um, out of the same bag of seed. And they're very different color, which tells me basically the soil's different. Different amount of fertilizer, maybe a different soil makeup. So there seems to be a break right about here somewhere where the soil changes. And you can kind of see the hill breaks off at that point too. So I don't know, I might get, um, I might get soil tests done out here and just see what the deal is because... You know, these plants down here just look a little sicklier than the ones up at the top of the hill. And uh, I'll see how they do, too. Um, this is the plant I thought was a zucchini. But, as you can see, I think, if I can get the leaves out of the way, that is not a zucchini. So, that's a white scallop squash. Um, but other than that, other than it could still use some rain... Um, so I don't have to water so much, but other than that, things are coming along. Um, oh, there's a bigger watermelon getting started. So, I guess that's it for this time. Just going to be doing some more weeding, staying ahead of the weeds, um, that are kind of getting started over here. Don't have to worry a lot about with weeds that are a few feet from the plants, but they're just kind of a hassle if they get started, so... Anyway, that's my update for this time, so thanks for watching.